Cashflow Diary Podcast, episode 327. Welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Cashflow Diary Podcast. The podcast that teaches you insider tips, tactics, and strategies for creating leveraged streams of cash flow into your life. Learn from top performing entrepreneurs, business owners, investors, and thought leaders from across the globe as they share their secrets to success. Like what you learn on this and other Cash Flow Diary podcast episodes? Go to learninvestingnow.com and sign up to receive powerful tips and information that will help you succeed as an entrepreneur and investor. Now, here's your host, investor, entrepreneur, business owner, educator, speaker, author, and master facilitator of Robert Kiyosaki's cash flow game, Jay Massey. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Cashflow Diary Podcast. I'm your host, Jay Massey, and I'm glad that you're here today because we are going to talk about something that you need to be paying attention to. You're like, what is that? Well, we're going to talk about new technology, new things that are happening, but most importantly, understand that you have no customers if they do not know you exist. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about marketing today. Why? Because you want to build your cash flow. You want more tenants. You want more business. You want more customers. You don't have them for one major reason. They don't know how to find you. You're not sending out the message. And there are new ways of sending out the message today. And I think you're going to enjoy today's guest because he has not only written the book on it, he also provides many tools and softwares to help us as entrepreneurs go out there and spread that message. I have with me today none other than Casey Zeman. He's the best-selling author of Build Your Audience with Live Video. Can you guess what we're going to talk about today? And the founder of Easy Webinar, as well as Fullscope.tv. Now, if some of you have participated in some of our live streams, whether you realize it or not, we are using Full Scope TV and its various features to help us communicate with you. Now, we'll talk about what those are, but what I want you to understand is that this isn't Casey's first go round. I mean, he's consulted with such companies as HarperCollins, Estee Lauder, Dell, and he's built his own seven figure software and info product businesses. This is code for he knows how to get in front of the customer, give them what they need, help them and do so at a profit. So I'm going to suggest very strongly, you take out your pen, your pad, your paper, your iPad, whatever you want to write with, even if it's a crayon, and take some notes as we talk to Casey Zeman. Casey, you there? I am, Jermaine. Thank you so much for having me on the show. Uh, I'm glad that you are here, sir. Uh, I have appreciated the information that you have put out for sure, because it has helped me understand this live video thing, it definitely understand the webinar thing and as well, because as a real estate person, I've always got a message that I've got to communicate. <laughs> I, you know, this stuff works in any business. I mean, that's, I, I mean, I was in real estate before I kind of came online and started creating content and, uh, and software and, uh, courses all about this stuff. But, you know, I, I actually came online in the first place because of that, because I was trying to figure out how to get more leads into my, um, <laughs> my, my mortgage business, you know? Nice. So yeah, totally love it. Now, this being the first time that you are here, I've got to ask you the same question that I ask everybody else. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Go for it. All right. I tend to look at today's entrepreneurs a lot like yesterday's superheroes. So Batman, Robin, Superman, Iron Man, Wonder Woman, you get the gist of where I'm going with this. And I think entrepreneurs and superheroes have a ton of things in common. Occasionally, especially as an entrepreneur, we can think that, yes, I'm putting on a cape today, maybe some tights flying around and, and saving my customers in, in, in various different ways. But also, like a superhero, we have a beginning. If you think about it, Spider-Man was just kind of a college kid trying to graduate, taking some photos at first before he became Spider-Man. So what we want to know is before Full Scope TV, before Easy Webinar, before your book, before consulting with really big name companies, before your own uh, seven-figure software and info product businesses, who is Casey Zeman? <laughs> this is that's a that's a good one. I uh Wow. Well, so we go back before all of that. Uh, and are you trying to have me relate like 
Uh, I get it. So I don't have to actually say that I'm Batman or Superman. No, that's, you don't. That's it. But if you are, then that would be great too. <laughs> I, I have to tell you something. I am. No, no. Um, when I, you know, that's, that's a great question because for me, um, in my life, I just wanted to, I think ultimately I, you know, and I was, I was thinking about this the other day because I started off as an actor a long time ago, like, uh, went to school for music and theater and, you know, I, uh, I love that. And, and part of me went through this weird transition when I was like, when I was in my twenties and it was, I didn't like being a broke actor. And I found that I was, even though I could get, do some movies or TV shows or, you know, occasionally do a commercial, I was still held to the structure that even acting or the, the industry of, of acting, um, had, you know, everybody put people in a box, like you are marketable and you can only do this or that. Mm -hmm. I found that li very limiting and it felt very different than what acting was as a whole to me because acting was the transformation of, of becoming somebody else or, or going into becoming somebody else and not keeping myself in a box. So I found this, this odd, um, this odd, like juxtaposition. Uh, and for me, it was, my not exodus out of acting, but it was more into my my entrance into being completely me hmm. instead of trying to be as an actor somebody that everybody else wanted. So I then went into real estate because I just didn't like being a broke actor, and <laughs> I did. I did. So, so you, hold yeah. on, hold on, hold on. Instead of yeah, a broke yeah. actor, you'd go for a broke agent. I mean, help me out. Yeah. So I went in. <laughs> I actually became a mortgage broker. Right. So okay. I, 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 I worked, you know, in my, in my, in a friend of mine's garage, it was the two of us and, you know, we, we generated seven figures in the, in the garage, right? Just like doing mortgages back in, you know, nice. like this was like 2007, you know, 2006, 2007. I mean, this was literally 10 years ago. Right. Um, and as soon as the recession hit, I went from, you know, doing, like, uh, for me personally, like maybe $250,000 a year to $15,000 the next year. And I almost went into foreclosure, almost lost my house. Um, because that's what a real estate afforded me that I had that, but then I was forced to figure something else out when the recession hit. But at the same time, I wasn't really satisfied with how I was performing in the real estate business. I felt like I was making too many cold calls and I felt fake and I just hated that, that world. Right. I loved, I didn't mind selling because I, I, I was never a salesman in the first place. I was always just somebody who would, who would give the facts, tell a story around it. And people gravitated towards that idea, right? I didn't have to sell because mm -hmm. I hate selling. Mm -hmm. So as soon as I, as soon as I started going this direction, um, I, uh, my goal was how do I bring in leads into my business in the other way, right? Instead of me having to make cold calls, what's the other, how do, how do I do this? So I, I started searching online in, in about 2000, maybe 2009 is when I started searching for how to generate leads online. Right. Hmm. And, and I, and I started finding all these little dip, different things like, um, you know, most of it was multi-level marketing stuff. Right. Okay. Um, but eventually I, I tapped into, you know, learning more about online marketing, right? They kind of talked about online marketing and talked about lead generation online. And that was, that was my first, uh, sort of entrance into this. And, uh, and then suddenly I'm, I'm doing more research about it. And then I, I go into learning more about YouTube on it and, mm -hmm. um, and it, and it suddenly becomes the one thing that I focus on, uh, YouTube as a sort of a traffic source, YouTube as a hmm. uh, way to connect with your audience. And that's what I start doing for c companies like Estee Lauder and Dell. I start coaching them on this stuff. Even before I actually make money online, uh, I, I, I'm able to generate some leads with YouTube, but I, I don't really have that pure, like I, I'm not, I, I'm not making any money online yet right at that right, point. Right. Um, but as soon as I incorporate, as soon as I built my own course, I created a, a YouTube course called YouTube revealed, um, and sold it on webinars. I, I, that's, that's how I finally made my money online. And I, and I built a list online as well, using webinars, using video, using joint venture partnerships, uh, things like that. But again, 
the whole reason I went into acting in the first place, and I, I was I was reviewing this in my mind just recently, it's because I wanted to create an emotional response in people back mm. at that time in my life, right? Mm -hmm. Well, what's interesting now is that I get to do that currently. Right. And it's on a, in a different, it's an, on a different level. It, it's where I'm not necessarily acting to, to create an emotional response. I'm, I'm providing tools and training and having people find results with what I've created for them, which gets an emotional response. Right. So, Indeed. you know, if I, if you looked at, you know, can I help someone achieve their own a way of, of, of making money online or, you know, based on their passion, am I able to achieve that? And luckily I've had, you know, thousands of customers that have come through our programs and we've had a lot of people that it has, you know, you know, I, I quote unquote, and I'm only quoting people change their lives. You know, I wouldn't say it if someone <laughs> didn't say, Casey, you've changed our lives. I well, mean, Cause that's, I hate that. It's cheesy when people like just say, I'm, I'm a life changer. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> if someone says, Casey, you've changed my life, then yeah, okay. Right. That's great. That's how you do it. Yeah. So anyway, that, so that, I think my superhero is I've always wanted to um, have the ability to, to get an emotional response, help people uh, change what they want or help, help find, help them find their own voice, their own path and their own freedom, I guess. Indeed, indeed. Well, that I think that's the essence of any marketing plan is to take the customer from the current state to the happy state. You know, currently we're assuming they're in a less than happy state and we want to get them to a happy state with our product or service. And that is definitely an emotional response. I know for myself, having participated in a number of your products and services, uh, I, I benefit and everyone listening to my voice indirectly has benefited and i'm going to say that their lives are different my life is different so casey you changed our lives thank you now okay there we go okay. <laughs> well thank you that's, i mean my that's if that's my goal then my, my goal is to do that so any co any content any software i create you know it's to help people with their audience it's to help people find their audience and grow their audience connect is the most important thing connect with their actual audience i'm sorry if you hear this crazy cricket there's a, like a cricket like like literally i think in the office somewhere well, so i'm, I'm glad sorry. you said something because i yeah. we, we were going I'm nuts over here like i hear something i don't know what it is i don't know where yeah. it's coming from but and it just it just went quiet so i don't know yeah, of course. It's just like, it's going to go off and on too. I, I I don't know what it is. We have tons of crickets in the backyard right now. And right. I'm in my, I'm in my office in the garage. I converted my garage to an office. So that's, that's pretty funny. Out. I'm yeah. in, I'm in the same. <laughs> nice. Yes. <laughs> exact same. So this is, so you're back to doing seven figures from the garage again. I like yeah, it. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a nice thing. It's like, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's full circle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Totally understood. Yeah. Now this new thing, when it comes to Live video, because I it, many people we we've seen YouTube, we got that. I feel like I missed the boat on YouTube because you see so it's like wow, how do I you know rise above that noise? Um, I don't know, but I do know this: live video is awesome. It's been fun, and the things that you have have been able to share and help uh, when it comes to you know easy webinar and full scope TV have totally been able to help us spread our message. Why do you think it's so difficult, say, for the entrepreneur to even understand the need to be able to use tools like, you know, Easy Webinar or Full Scope. Um, you know what? I think that people, I think that the tech scares them right out of the gate. Um, mm. And, and you know, they assume that when they see somebody else that has success, that that person has some sort of knowledge that they don't have, or some sort of, some sort of like ability that they don't have, right? Oh, well, that person had to go to school for it, or, oh, well, that person has had years of extensive training. The, the, the answer is that those people that, that find results, um, are the ones are, are simply those that take action, you know, um, they may not have perfect action. In fact, they have more imperfect action, but 
at the very least, they are putting themselves out there. You know, they're, they're stepping outside of their comfort zone. They're stepping outside of their box because, you know, as I think it was Albert Einstein said, you know, the definition of crazy is doing the same thing over and over again, right? I would never do that. Right. Exactly. Except See? I did. Oh, you did. <laughs> I mean, you do ask the same few questions in your podcast. And, right. But – that's a, that's a formula. That's not, that's not the same thing. Okay. That's not the same okay. thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you know, so that's, that's the thing. We, the people that find results are not the ones that have been ex- studying it extensively. They're, they're the ones that, that allow themselves to fail and take action and learn from it and keep, and keep going, uh, over and over again. That that's for me, the one thing that allowed me to, to, I guess, succeed, you know, cause we're always trying to reach a new plateau, but right. to, to, to reach a certain level, it was that I didn't give up. I consistently con- I continued to push forward. I had massive pushback and massive, um, you know, ups and downs and failures, but that's, that's what happens. Uh, and uh, you know, the, the entrepreneur has to know inherently that, things are going to work out, um, you know, and, and they have to, they have to have that, that they have to have that, um, I guess that, you know, that resolve, right. They have to say, this is going to be happening for me. And so for me personally, I, I, I think that as long as, you know, uh, my, my long-term memory is terrible. So, so I, you know, <laughs> if I fail at something, I just get back up and do it again. Um, because I'm like, you know what, let's, let's try this a new day. Let's see what we can do. So for those that don't jump into these, you know, these tools, they, they first off think they're too unattainable. They're the other, it's not, and it's also not meant for their business. That's one of the things that really a lot of people misconstrue that, oh, that's not going to work for me. It doesn't really apply to my business where in actuality, you know, anyone looking to generate leads, uh, sales, um, customers, as you've already pointed out, you know, they, they need stuff like this, that, that helps them to attain that, to, to get to that point. But a lot of people don't, don't believe that it fits their, their business model. Indeed, indeed. And I think it's an errant belief, unfortunately. And that's why I'm excited to do this episode is to help correct some of those because specifically when it comes to live video and, you know, Periscope and some of the platforms that are now no longer around, but, um, uh, Facebook Live, et cetera. It's been one of the, the interesting things that, uh, I pr- appreciate specifically about full scope is it's hard to make you know, as an entrepreneur, one of the things you've got to learn to do is make decisions based upon data. And I cannot, you know, spend money or time in a vacuum and just go, okay, well, we hope it works and not have some sort of measurable, you know, key performance metric. And that's, I mean, honestly, that was like the thing that drew me for sure to full scope was, oh my gosh, there's metrics here. I can measure and incentivize and help grow and keep uh, the audience entertained and know if we're doing something right or, or know when we're not. <laughs> and that's one of the most important things right. that you've provided. And I, I just wanted to say, I appreciate that. Well, of course, man. I mean, that, I mean, that was my goal. You know, I noticed, you know, and I, I I've always loved live video. There's that cricket again. Sorry about that. So I've always <laughs> loved the live video. Uh, and you know, I, I started using it with, you know, Google Hangouts and YouTube live and stuff. So when Periscope came on the market, I was pretty giddy about it because now you had an app that you could use right from your phone, but you're right. The problem I experienced with it was I couldn't really know or figure out who the people were that were coming to my broadcast, how long they were staying. I, I didn't have any metrics that would allow me to know if this was succeeding or not, or if I was reaching this audience, right? right? I could sort of vaguely get an idea. Like I was like, okay, they're coming. They're saying that they're, you know, signing up or, you know, so on and so forth. Um, but I really didn't have any, um, you know, quote unquote, a full scope of what they were doing. So, <laughs> and, and I noticed that Periscope wasn't really creating anything for that. So that's when we went out and created full scope. Um, and you know, since then we've also added Snapchat, uh, that we're still rolling into the actual system. Uh, but you know, the idea is that these social platforms are awesome and they can really work well for leveraging an audience, but you know, you need, as you said, the KPIs, you need to, to have that measurable data to be able to say, is this working or not? So, um, so yeah, that, I mean, I, I saw that there was no source for that and that's why we created that. 
yeah, Ed, you've totally filled that vacuum very, very well. I know it's helped us uh, to a we've many of you, most of you know that we we do a number of different things here from providing you guys the education of how to do what we do, as well as going out there to just do what we do. And what has happened, I know for us, uh, for uh, here at the Cashflow Diaries, we've managed to attract attention of people that we probably would have never been able to attract the attention of from uh, people who are now representing us to the the traditional media platforms, as well as uh, being able to attract clients, as well as investors, and also potential property deals, simply because we're out there producing content, helping individuals, but more importantly, be I know that I can look at the dashboard and go, ooh, this is helping. This worked. This resonated. Like one of our most popular uh, broadcasts, like what, when when I go out there, Casey, is uh, I'll go to a, an open house, right? And if I want a, an open house and if I want, you know, three, two, three hundred people watching, uh, I know that I know what time I need to start. I know what time I can stop. And I know definitely I, I should go for something in the one to two million dollar range out here in California and, and it'll attract enough people that they'll come and watch and learn how to walk through a house. It's just something simple. That's awesome. But yeah. it works. I, I love that. I love I love the open house idea. Um, you know, that that for Periscope, I mean it, it makes complete sense, you know, and for now, let me ask you this. Now you have, you know, the full scope version where you can have people like add their email oh, uh, yes. into the actual comment of the uh, of the actual broadcast. So yes. if you ever do a, an open house, do you ever say anything like, hey, if you guys want to get more information about this open house, just uh, put your email in the chat or do you or do you send them directly to, say, your website or a place where they can uh, inquire yeah, um, or do, they, you do you do both? Well, yeah, exactly. What ends up what has ended up happening is that we end up doing both, but specifically because I'm not a realtor, I'm always a principal in my transactions. So uh, there's two types of people who are coming to us. It's the investor who may want to buy that house, and then so if I'm there with the realtor whose listing it is, I'm like, hey, can you tell everybody your information so that they can contact you? And then at the same time, for those who want to learn how to walk houses or learn how to acquire properties like this, like the very one that I'm walking in using none of your own money or credit, put your email address. And what we'll do is my, myself or my assistant and team will make sure that you get, you know, a free PDF or an ebook or a video series that teaches how to do exactly what I'm out there doing while they're, they just watched me do it. And then I'm going to teach them how to do it. And all they got to do is put their email address in. It's been some of the highest engaged, most uh, fastest converting individuals we've ever had, period. That's amazing. I got nothing. I literally have no other strategy that makes customers faster, brings in investors faster, brings in deals faster, or grows the database faster. There is no, I have nothing else. Then doing live video, like. Correct. I mean, I can do those. I can do a paid ad on Facebook and that's going to grow the database. But then there's the conversion process. I'm talking about all of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because these people, they're not, they're, you know, they're, they're, it's cold traffic. They're not the people. I mean, I'm, I'm saying the people from your uh, a Facebook ad, they're not the ones that are coming to your broadcasts and know you, right? They're not right. the ones that instantly are like, oh, well, you know, I got to follow Jermaine because I know that he's going to be doing this and I, I want to be a part of that. Right. You're right. That, that I find it as, I mean, I, I notice the same exact thing um, that it's, you know, when you, when you, when you really have a strong, connection with your audience based on, you know, video that you, uh, you know, do for them and, and they, it's, it's a much stronger bond, right? So yeah, you're right. The conversion is what is what's killer. Can I ask you a sure. num- number based, what kind of conversions do you normally see? Um, I mean, this is kind of getting a little specific with geeking out with sure, sure. Uh, some of the numbers. Uh, so like, let's say you use full scope and you were to, well, first off, let's say you do a broadcast and you go to do this open house, yeah. um, and you tell people to put their email into the chat or something to that effect. Um, what kind of conversions have you seen, uh, from using that, that approach? You mean as in the number of like from viewers to actual emails? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like Got based it. on like how many people you have coming to the broadcast, um, how many people actually convert to a, a lead on your email? But I mean, you can go further if you'd like and say how many of those become, you know, customers or clients too. Sure, sure. It, it, if it's the first time, because we get a lot of repeat 
people. Like if it's their first time, so the first time viewer, we're probably in the 50% range. Wow, nice. Okay. That's pretty that's pretty incredible. That's 50% off of a a brand new viewer who's probably watched what like they're watching 7 to 10 10 minutes or how long do your broadcast normally run? Yeah, it depends on the <laughs> sometimes we do these um I'll, I'll do these very large pretty long uh, like yeah. 13,000 square foot houses and <laughs> so that Can't do that in 5 minutes. <laughs> no, there's no there's no 5 minute version of that. Plus right. they're asking so many questions cuz they they don't they're new investors there's learning how to walk through a property. Right. And I've done it so many times, I don't even think about it. I just walk through the property, but then they start asking questions and we start talking about, you know, why am I, why, why is that important? And why is that important? And when would you negotiate for all those types of things? So depending on how engaged the audience is, it can last a, a little bit, but um, we tend to get like two, like I said, two, 300 people. Um, and I know that because of <laughs> full scope, uh, and we tend, <laughs> we tend to get a number of people and then we can, uh, get them into the next stage of whatever the, the business funnel is. And I want everybody to, who's listening to understand that this process works for, regardless of the business type. You're hearing the insides of what's happening here, but the, there's no difference. I mean, you are, you, you, if you're listening to us, uh, if you have the capacity to listen to us, you have the capacity to broadcast, period, and make yep. all everything that we're talking about right now happen today. You know, this is a little bit different episode, isn't it? Uh, I know that you're you're getting an inside look at some of the things that you may not have been able to have access to before. But at the end of the day, what's important to me is that you learn and hopefully you're learning. I mean, I don't know how much you're learning. I don't know how much you're not learning. Hopefully you're taking some notes, maybe hitting some pause buttons and getting some ideas of some things that you might be able to do for your business. At least that's the goal. And if you want more ideas, feel free to pick up a copy of my book, Cashflow Diary, 10 Steps to Creating Wealth in Any Economy at cashflowdiary.com forward slash free book. Again, that's cashflowdiary.com forward slash free book. Well, I'm not going to delay it any longer either. So let's get back to the good stuff. Yeah, I mean, you don't have to be in real estate. I mean, I'm assuming you, you probably have some of the people that listen to your podcast uh, that p- aren't people in, that are are directly in real estate, or maybe right. they're trying to do real estate as sort of a a side hustle or something, right. you know, on the, that they're, that's not necessarily their main business, but it still can apply to your main business too, or it can apply it ca- can apply to anything, whether that's you know you're an entertainer, you're an artist. You are an author, an expert, a coach, a consultant. You know, you create digital courses, you create software. It doesn't really matter. Um, it's it really is a it really is a, um, a, a a first step connection. That's what it is. It's it's lit- you know, and you mentioned it before. Content marketing is what we need to do in our business anyway, right? Right. This is this is the and I this is the kind of the higher hierarchy of of content creation, right? Mm-hmm. You create a live video. You're fine with your your blog post is already created. Yep, right. That's exactly what you know, we're doing. You, you know your audio you could potentially put into a uh, into a podcast, right? Yep. Separate podcast that's that's literally done um, from you know pulling out the audio from your live broadcast with Periscope. So you have to create the content anyway, which is the attractor, right? Right. To find that audience. This way we're talking about is a way for you to create the content, but also find a brand new audience right right away, which is amazing. Like, you right. know, we have to create the content anyway, as you pointed out. But way, the, the, what's awesome about this is now you can create content while at the same time build your email list and yeah. and bring in customers. Well, so, and, and let's talk about. I mean, the customer thing is I that's the part that really got my attention. That was the part that I was like, oh my gosh, and I can measure this. That that because I, I like measure everything, and yeah. the the it came down to the point to where we know that the so when you were talking about the person you know putting in their name because of that feature. By the way, thank you. I'm so grateful. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that those those names, just an email address, um, is has been worth up to thirty nine dollars within the first thirty days. Just the name because of wow. the average cart yeah. size, the average value of the customer within 30 wow. days, just uh, we, you average out all the, 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 uh, the revenue from just the name. So that, that includes the people that don't buy as well as the people that do. It's like, well, I, it feels like I'm getting paid to go live stream and actually help people. And 
I'm just, and I know this. And because I know this, you can have excitement around it. And yep. you, you don't, I, I'm not, I don't feel like I'm wasting, you know, time. Because people this like, is, you know, yeah. I, what's the, a like worth? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the other thing is a lot of people, you know, are always like, well, if I create content, I'm not, how, how do I know someone's actually going to consume it and it's actually going <laughs> to work, right? <laughs> By doing this, it's like you now know. You know, you know, it, it's, it's, it's you leveraging your time in the best way possible because you create content and you build that connection. If people are coming to your broadcast and they're loving what you're doing, then it's good content, right? right? And yep. you can, you can literally veer, veer in a different direction while on a broadcast. If people aren't showing up or they're not enjoying what you're talking about, and you can generally tell there, you know, you, you, you might see drop off or something like that. But if they're, if you start speaking the topic that they are really interested in, you see that engagement go up. And in fact, that's what you can measure with full scope. Obviously the levels of engagement, how long people are staying, the hearts that are sent to how many shares, like it, ga- it gives you all that data to know, you know, quote unquote, the people that love you the most, right? Or the people that are your most engaged viewers, which happen to typically be the people that also will buy something from you in the future, right? That's yeah. that's what I've noticed. I mean, I've noticed that my number one fans, quote unquote, you know, the people that come to my um, broadcast and like connect with me on Snapchat and stuff, those are people that jumped into my coaching program, right? right because right. Because that's, because they legitimately know that I, that I've helped them already. Like I'll do a broadcast and I'll give them some piece of advice that they can take away right off of the broadcast for free. Right. right. And if I'm giving them something like that for free, they realize that my coaching is that much more valuable, valuable, or my, my, you know, my paid training is that much more valuable or my software is that much more valuable. So, and, yep. Yeah, so, no, I get it. I, I, I'm just, I'm just excited about it because I, you, you, in this conversation, you uh, made me go look real fast. I know our one of our um, more recent broadcasts was the title was uh, "What Does a Seven Hundred Thousand Dollar Day Look Like?" And it nice. was <laughs> yes. now that that's probably a good title, <laughs> okay? Yeah. But it, okay. Uh, we turned that one because we saw the engagement, we saw the 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 replay, the live viewers, the replay viewers. That one is now actually an article on the blog because it's like, Ooh. oh, that worked. Yep. Uh, you know, we we got validation so quickly. It's like, well, that one becomes an article, and people got so much value from it, and are obviously are still getting value from it. You can test out your content. And that, I think that's that it's like having a test market right there, ready to go, you know, and I just people, I, I think it's just a question of people don't have this knowledge. If they knew what we know, hmm. don't you think that they would be like super excited? Like, I think that they sometimes think it's either too good to be true these guys are, you're, they're just on a podcast. It's not, you know, they're in, they're, they're supposed to say stuff that keeps our interest, but they, this is the thing. Like people don't realize that once you know how to do this, or once you've figured out some of these steps, right. Or how to c- create the type of content you want to create or having a tool like full scope, right. Having some of these pieces together, once you have that, you know, it feels good. It feels good to create content. It feels you, you, you start to like, for me personally, you know, as I said, I've started off as an actor. Well, don't you think that th- the whole point of me going into video is kind of that, that coming back into that world? Like it is to a degree because mm-hmm. now I can create content and, and it's, it's solely me and it's energizing. I love doing it. I love doing live broadcasts because, you know, it's, it's fun. Like at, at one point I, it was kind of like, well, what do I create? I'm scared about getting in front of this and you know, right. what happens if I'm in public and I look stupid that I'm doing a broadcast. But after a while, I can tell you that, that some of that, that goes away once you realize that <laughs> it is a, it's a leveraged tool that you can use for your business. You, you take it much more seriously. I'm at laughing. That point. I, yeah, that, that's yeah. true. And I'm laughing because I've gone through that and there's one Starbucks near my house where I'm known for sitting in the chair, bringing a, a selfie stick that can kind of function as a, a tripod by itself, holding my phone with a, a with a lapel mic and actually doing live broadcasts while in the middle of Starbucks, people ordering their coffee, all this other stuff going on in the background and people getting tons of value. 
and the the employees there are like, "What are you doing?" You know? Yeah, yeah, that's what they do. They'll they'll like, and you you just have to. I mean, eventually they get it. Okay, he's he's doing something on his phone. He's like talking to somebody. He's like he's probably he's posted to YouTube, right? They don't know. They don't know what you're doing. But that's okay. That's okay. Like yeah. you just have to. Listen, you just have to allow yourself. And we all suffer that. I have a problem with doing that, too. And and when I get on Snapchat in front of people, I feel a little embarrassed, you know. But if it's something that will help your business and if you allocate time for it in your day and take it seriously while in, at the same time enjoying it, it it's it's going to work. So um, so I love that. So you you told me that you... You get, you said those people that opt in, you get yes. 50% conversion from the people right. that come to the broadcast to then putting their name in, which mm-hmm. then you can add them into your email list, right? Correct. And then you said those same people mm-hmm. are valued at about $39 a... A name within 30 days. 30 days. And how do you, how do you gauge that? So you are, so you, you convert some of these people into, I, I guess, sales, yeah. selling Absolutely. your program. Okay. Absolutely, immediately, because I mean, again, it's not like we're uber expensive. It's just that it, we there's a lot of people, but at the same time, what you because of what you've done with Full Scope, we can integrate this, and I, I'm hopefully everyone else is hearing how all of the other stuff I've always said comes together right now. Because when you put that email thing together, that I don't even know what you guys call it, but whatever it is that allows us to take the emails directly from the broadcast straight into our database. That yeah. was the key for me. That was what I needed because I needed to be able, because once they're in the database, we can, you know, have marketing and all this other stuff go off. So because we use Infusionsoft uh, in this particular case, we tag all of them completely differently than we tag everybody else. So once they're tagged, we can track their activity and I can track how long does it take this person with this tag to buy anything or become a customer or get on the phone or make an investment or whatever it is the business needs, I can tag it to figure out, you know, what that is. And because we track everything, I can compare that to the other group of people who came in a different way and go, ooh, this is something, there's something to this. And I can go, this is where we need to invest the company's time, money, money, energy, and resources. And that's mm-hmm. that's the critical decision. You you help. We all have limited time. You know, I I can only be in so many places. So if I, but I, I want to be where the highest return is. And if I know that the highest return, it would sound, can sound crazy, is on a 15, 20, 30 minute live stream. Well, then that's where I'm going to be. But I know it because of what you've put together. I love that you, you said that. And you're right. I probably need to have some cool name for it, like the full scope, like <laughs> email engine or the conversion con or con- <laughs> Some some cool name and I, it needs to be branded, but yes. it's just one of those features of easy of uh, full scope premium, obviously. Um, that yeah, a lot of people don't really realize. I mean, I I, it pro- I need to probably sh- highlight that a bit more as a as a big big feature that you know can it, you know saves people a lot of time. Uh, I'd like to pivot, or I'd like to pivot um, webinars. You know, I, I was thinking uh-huh. about webinars because one of the first ways. Uh, that we had some customers start to use our software Easy Webinar, which is a webinar platform, right? So uh-huh. it does live and automated webinars, um, and it's perfect for like a sales tool, right? Yeah. Uh, but it's also perfect for a lead generation tool as well, right? So what some people used to do, and they probably still do, but we had real estate agents that would get our software and do these uh, virtual open houses, right? Just like how you. Oh, okay do what you're doing with Periscope. Well, they would do the same thing with our software, our uh, platform that could run both like a live webinar, but also a pre-recorded automated sort of webinar, which essentially is a pre-recorded show. So they could take a, a walkthrough of a property and put it to have stream on Saturday and Sunday but not have to be there, right? They could stream it, not have to show up, mm-hmm. and it would play in real time, sort of with the look and feel of live, but without you needing to kind of be there manning it. And people would do this, and they'd create these, you know, virtual open houses that every, during the week, people could sign up, 
on the weekend they would go because they can't you know that they can't visit the property in public because right. of the fact that they are maybe investors from a different country or a different state or different city or whatever they could watch this this virtual open house and put an application in to learn more or fill out something where they can you know you know maybe put an offer in or something to that effect and you only have to record the open house once mm-hmm. uh for a one property and have it run you know several weeks in a row um based on you know based based on um you know if anyone's buying or not right uh and we had people do that and pretty successfully they would they would set these up um and have them you know on saturday and and sunday but they would be scheduled things like you'd have to come to them right so just like a webinar is scheduled you would attend the the online um mm-hmm. online uh you know open house mm-hmm. right mm-hmm. so it wasn't streamed every day and it wasn't just like a video mm-hmm. of, to watch it was literally come to our open house it's on this saturday you can join us we stream it out as well online come come today right so uh so they were they were using it that way so there there's a lot of uses for webinars too uh that are aren't just necessarily like sales tools like Sure. Um, but you know, what I always tell people is use something like full scope and periscope as a lead generation tool, right? You use it to create your content and, uh, drive in new customers and leads or f- prospects at that point, drive them potentially to a webinar, you know, a workshop where then you are selling your program, selling your digital course, your program, your, um, your services, right? Um, and, and both of those two combined, you then have lead generation tool and, uh, a content creator, you have a sales, uh, tool, the webinar, and then you could even on the back end, after someone becomes a buyer, use a webinar as the fulfillment tool for one-on-one coaching. And a lot of people don't think about that either or onboarding. You know, we have, we have customers that use easy webinar for their onboarding after people become customers, like, like one of our, our customers, um, uh, I don't know if you know who optimized press is like the, yes. the guys who created optimized press. I don't know their names, but I'm not familiar with the product. Yeah. So if you know the product, like they use easy webinar, uh, for their first onboarding webinar after someone becomes a buyer, uh, they create. So as soon as someone becomes a buyer, they get an email that says, Hey, awesome. We're doing a streamed uh, you know, uh, workshop all about how to use, you know, optimized press, uh, you know, come here. So they click on it and they, now they're, they're saved for a future webinar. Now it's pre-recorded, but it has a really high level of engagement. Uh, people can ask questions during the, that particular webinar itself. And the, 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 the person putting it on can actually answer those questions back, or it can go right into their email, which they can answer later. So, the nice thing is it's, it could be used as like a, a tool for, for first off, onboarding people to make sure that they're getting the training that they need, uh, a way for you to also know if they're watching that content. You know, if you're using Infusionsoft, you know that they're coming to the page and how much they're watching because mm-hmm. Easy Webinar has really, you know, pretty advanced um, Infusionsoft tagging as well. Uh, and if you know that they're coming and consuming, um, you can very well see that those people are less likely to refund or have a, a bad experience uh, compared to the people that don't come into that um, onboarding. So it's a, it's, there's so, so many different ways to use this same technology, and it all stems from education, video, live video. Right? And, and what I, th- this is the thing that I, I, I don't want to get lost. I want everybody to make sure that you pick this part up. As the entrepreneur, you you you're always out there. You're it's, at first, you're that one person band, right? You've got to play all the instruments, and you feel like you got to play them all at the same time. But each one of these videos, each one of these live streams, each one of these things become an asset for the company that y- you currently are the CEO or chief everything officer of, <laughs> right? And that's what I it, that's what I love. And now. Uh, because of other entrepreneurs who are out there doing the same thing and, and Casey understanding our needs, we have the 
opportunity to be able to leverage ourselves so that you can be in multiple places, in multiple countries, multiple time zones, giving, quote unquote, that same presentation over and over and over and over and over again. Uh, because at the end of the day, it's new to them, even though you didn't have to in- physically exert that energy and it helps you to stay focused and on track on those, again, high revenue generation activities, the high return on time activities, the things that you should actually be doing. So uh, I would even go so far, Casey, as to say that the individuals that are listening that specifically, if you feel like you're still stuck in your job and you can't figure out how to get out, it's primarily because the lead generation isn't automated and has no leverage at all. And you're not using tools like Easy Webinar and or Full Scope or Fair Scope. I mean, I think that might be safe to say. Yeah. Uh, I, I think, you know, I, I, the, the, the way I built my email list when I first started to try to dr- drive leads online was webinars, right? In my first year of doing webinars, I built an email list of about 14,000 people. And, you know, I went from that, you know, that not having fit, I, I made 15,000, right? That, that year after the recession hit to, um, about a year and a half later, um, actually let's say, so I went on, I came online around 2010. Uh, I wasn't making money. So I became a consultant. I, I, I actually figured out that I wanted to focus on YouTube. Then I became a consultant. So about 2010 to 2011, I was doing, um, consulting with YouTube and I had like a handful of clients, like I had four or five clients paying me retainer. Um, you know, uh, some were paying two, some were paying three, some were paying five. So I was able to sustain my bit, you know, a business around this for a little bit. And then my goal was to still be able to create a program online and, and sell that program online. So, and, and that, that happened in 2012. So um, and the, so I'd say the middle of actually it happened in, starting in 2011. So the middle of 2011, I started launching my course and I'd say 12 months later, I built an email list of 14,000 people and I made about $245,000 in sales from, from my online course, right? My YouTube, what's called YouTube revealed, right? Mm. And that, that was my first experience with webinars, with selling a program online, Uh, I applied what I knew and what I was able to do for my clients and I created a a course around it. Uh, so, you know, there are lead generation tools all over the place or, or, you know, traffic quote unquote traffic tools all over the place. But I, I can say because I've been there that live video is a unique, a very unique thing because it gives you that ability to find that audience in real time and create content. Whereas video alone, you're creating content and then you're hoping that it works to find that audience, right? <laughs> oh, yeah. we don't want to talk about pressing that button going, oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So so at the end of the day, there's nothing to lose. Um, you, you test out content, you test out finding that audience and that's what it's really about. But, but you keep, you know, you keep persistent with it and you're, you're going to succeed eventually. You just have to, you just have to allow yourself to grow, test and, uh, and, you know, veer left when things aren't, you know, or veer right when things aren't going right. You just have to course correct. Indeed. Indeed. Now, uh, we've talked for a little bit. I'm sure there's some people who want to find out more about what you're up to and what, uh, easy webinar or full scope TV is all about. What's going to be the best way for them to track you down and get more info. Yeah. You know, you can find me on Twitter, on Periscope, uh, and even on Facebook, I think at Casey Zeman. Um, actually, I'm not too sure about Facebook, but uh, at Casey Zeman on Periscope and at Casey Zeman on Twitter. And um, if you want to go to easywebinar.com, you can find Easy Webinar there, fullscope.tv. You can find that there. But if you wanted to get like more training, I have a, a, a webinar mini course um, where I teach all this stuff about webinars at webinarminicourse.com. So it depends on what how what people want to do if they, or if they simply just want to reach out to me on Periscope, I'm, I'm okay with that too. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Now, as we wind up here, I got a, a final question for you and I, I'm really interested to hear your response. So uh, I know also that there's an individual listening who is for all intents and purposes, Casey, let's pretend 
that they are standing in front of the superhero outfit store. They think, oh man, I want to be this entrepreneur. I've got this idea. I can help people. They may even know what that special skill is and have had friends and family say, oh, you're so good at this. However, every time they consider thinking about it, every time they consider moving forward, every time it goes through their head, in the back of their mind is that voice. And Casey, I know you've dealt with that voice. It's that voice that comes up every time we want to become bigger than our present place. And and it says things like, who are you to be so great? And for some people, unfortunately, they're actually related to that voice. So my question to you is as follows. Let's pretend for a second that the person listening would actually follow through and do what you would say. They would do so in the next 24 hours or 24 to 48 hours. What would you have them do? Well, that, that's a great question. Um, and I, you know, I love that question. So, so if I was, if I was someone who wanted to, to, that, that I would actually take action and, you know, we've all had that person, that negative, uh, the negative influence or the person that didn't believe us or the person that said, you know, you gotta, I, I don't understand what you're doing. And are you going to be able to make money with this new venture? Right. That we, we have that internal voice. And, and, and on top of that, we also have the people that, are, as you just said, sometimes they're related to us, people that, you know, that, that question if you can have success with this or not. But let's say that you put all that aside and you said, yep, I could do this. If you said, yep, I could do this, this is, the, this is what I would suggest. If you know what you're passionate is or you know what you are good at, um, I, would, I would make a list of 10 to 15 different ideas that you could help people with, Right. They're people's biggest pain points, right? List out 10 to 15 ideas of ways that you can help someone. Then do a broadcast on Periscope about those different ways. Do maybe a 10 to 15 minute broadcast on each one of those uh, and schedule them out over, let's say, 10 days, right? Um, While you're doing all of that, you're going to want to then make sure that in that broadcast, you say, hey, would you like to learn more? Um, you know, I gave you just a little taste of what I can teach. If you'd like to learn more, go to, uh, you know, here's an example, webinarminicourse.com, right? So this is where you send them to get a free gift, right? You send them into uh, your own, what's known as an autoresponder. So you need an autoresponder such as MailChimp, Constant Contact, something that builds your email list, okay? The best way to build an email list is to give something away for free. So now full scope, obviously, if you had full scope, you could give something away for free at, during the broadcast, tell them to put their email uh, into uh, the chat. And then after the broadcast is over, you can add those people into whatever autoresponder you have after the fact. And then you can add them to a campaign that's automatically going to be sending them, let's say, a PDF or a video, right? So that's what a free gift should be. It should be something consumable, bite-sized that they can uh, learn. And it should be um, sort of like, like you know, they, they have like an instant aha moment or an instant gratification, right? Mm-hmm. Um, something that can say, oh, well, I've, I've, I, I, I accomplished this one small thing. And that's what your content should do. It should create that for them. It doesn't have to be a big piece of content. It could be something super small and simple, but that's what it's intended to do. And I would suggest doing that for three to six months. Just start building an email list up, uh, getting them onto there, while at the same time, consider that you know now is the time to try to start also getting clients, right? You could bypass you know trying to get an email list and start getting clients right away. And that's how I had to start. I had to start actually getting clients to help them with their YouTube before doing my own course and, and then, and getting uh, traffic to my own uh, program, you know, via YouTube and other sources. So I became a consultant. So you could technically do this tomorrow where, you know, you could do a broadcast and at the end of the broadcast, send them to a calendar link to work with you or sign up for a strategy call. You know, like, hey, I'm going to give you this free content, 10, you know, 15 minutes of free content. At the end, uh, you can say something like, now, if I'd love to be able to, to work with you uh, individually. If you'd like to get on a call with me, I'm, I'm doing free strategy calls, 30-minute, uh, 15-minute, 30-minute free strategy calls. Here's my calendar link. You know, you give them a calendar link like 
calendly.com, which allows people to sign up for specific slots to, uh, to, 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 uh, have, you know, a meeting with you, right? Uh, Calendly is good. There's, uh, I think there's, uh, schedule once is another one or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, but instantly you could probably get people on calls to where then you sell them into being, uh, retainer clients, right? Um, maybe you, you know, maybe you say, Hey, I, I, you know, it's maybe if you're a service or, or, or maybe you are do coaching, that's, that's where this is going to come in handy. Right. Um, and if you're someone who's an, you know, an investor trying to get, um, you know, more lead generation, you know, that the, the idea is to get them onto, to that free gift, as I said, you know, like that's, that's the goal. So there's a couple ways to do this. There's a way to make money instantly if being a coach, consultant, service, instantly connect with your, uh, with your p- potential customer. The other way is get them on a list and nurture that list and connect with them that way. Uh, and then eventually sell. Indeed, indeed. Well, I, I know this. I know that their brains are full, but I also right. know that I appreciate everything that you've been out there doing. Again, the the continued efforts you care about, the quality and and, and delivering and helping individuals, even myself. So I, I just want to say thank you uh, for taking the time to invest your knowledge, insight, and wisdom here with us at the Cashflow Diary. Well, thank you very much, Jermaine. I really appreciate it. I love being a guest. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you know what time it is. It's time for you to move at the speed of instruction. What does that mean today? That means you have a number of things to do. Chief among them, get started. Do something. Go on Periscope, fullscope.tv, easywebinar.com. You've got so many places to go. Leads, people are out there. They're waiting for you. I want you to imagine for a moment that there's a person who's looking for what it is that you have. Now, they're waiting. Go find them. It's been fun talking to you guys today. I look forward to talking to you soon. Until next time.